about to go through Point Inlet down here in uh, Point Beach, Florida. Down here for a few weeks for the holidays. I got James with me. What's up, James? Hello. James and New Yorker too. We did a blackfish trip together last year or this year. And we're gonna try something different. I've been on this boat a ton of times and we, we use three inline huge hooks with frozen sardines. James is actually gonna use bait, but he brought his own. I'm gonna just use a Skinner bucktail with a piece of golf, for better or worse. I have no idea how we're gonna do, but uh, I've never had much luck. It's just nice to be out fishing. It's a 40 something foot boat, beautiful boat. Light boat today for a Saturday. It's uh, December 18, 19, what's today? December 19, Saturday. 8 a.m., four hour trip. We'll see how we do. 60 bucks, cheap trip, half day. Um, going through the inlet here. I've been through this inlet when it's really gnarly. It doesn't look like it's that bad today, but we inlet's right in front of us. Um, 75 degree day. Uh, it's not 75 now, but it will be. Some clouds, but not that bad. See how we do. Check back in a little later. All right, here we go, guys. And as mentioned in that cold open, a December, a Saturday, December 19 trip out of Florida, specifically Boynton Inlet on the Living on Island time, a head boat, drift boat, party boat, whatever you want to call it, boat out of Boynton Beach, uh, Florida. Uh, with me was James, a customer of mine. We got to fish New Jersey recently. Great fisherman. He coincidentally was down here, same time I was, and we decided, we actually had a charter. Charter got canceled. Uh, you'll see during the video, it's kind of windy, um, but the headboat went out and we jumped on it. And the point of this video, uh, two things really. First, does the Skinner method, jigging with a bucktail and gulp rather than using bait, work in Florida? So this is the East Coast, the ocean, um, bottom fishing. We're fishing anywhere from, you know, uh, 40 feet, a uh, couple drops to 190 feet. And the average was probably 120 to 140, really deep drops. Um, and, you know, they have a rule on these boats here, no braid. So I'm using mono, 20 pound mono with a single bucktail. And yeah, it's a little tough uh, getting down and being able to jig, vertically jig with that much spring in the line, right? It's a, you don't have that tight braided line. I'm positive I would have done a lot better with it. But the good news, at least to me, was the Skinner method, the jigging method, not using these ridiculous inline three monster hooks. You'll see a picture here of one, um, uh, you know, with a sardine threaded through the three hooks. It works. I, I easily caught the most fish on the boat. It wasn't a great day. This is a four hour trip. Um, but certainly, I, I, I felt like I was in Montauk. I kept having my gulls chomped off, and I did get some fish on the boat. I, I think I got the only two grouper on the boat. Uh, they weren't keepers, though. And uh, the second part of the trip, I caught a banded rudder, rudder fish. And those of you that follow any of the Facebook fishing pages in the Northeast know that whenever somebody asks for a fish ID, all the Weisenheimers reply with banded rudder fish, banded rudder fish. Well, guess what? I actually caught one. And the mate was like, do you want it? Yeah, people will eat anything. James has actually had it and convinced me to keep it. And we'll do a little catch and cook at the end. My sister Anna uh, will cook it up. And uh, I got to tell you, it was one of the best tasting fishes I ever had. So that's at the end. We'll see some fish caught in between. Hope you enjoy. As always, if you do. Hit that like button, and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. Just moved in to 60 feet. I'm on. Boy, that didn't take long. He's on. Nothing big. You're lying in the water, Jamie boy. What do we got? Grouper? Not a keeper? No, that'd be 20 inches. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, not bad. Woo! Thank you, sir. Oh! 
Yeah, I can't tell the difference. Back on. As soon as I went ah off, as soon as I I hit bottom, dude, I was on. Yeah, yeah. he's back on it. There. This time I said it like a man. Really small. Another little grouper. Red, huh? Yep. And I'll have links in the description to all the gear I'm using. The rod you see a close up here, it's a Tsunami Slow Pitch Rod. It's the same one we use uh, for stripers and for bottom fishing, but this one is the spinning version. Um, I, I believe it's now under the Maxell banner because I, the specs are the same as the Maxell spinning rod that they sell now. I don't see the Tsunami being sold anymore. So my, my Maxell and Tsunami are the same company. Uh, Real is a Tsunami Evic 3000. Again, I have 20 pound mono. Uh, I wish I had braid, would have made a, a, I promise I would have caught a lot more fish if I had the, the ability to jig better and to really get down more vertical. You see me casting out to try to keep my line, uh, you know, it, it would catch up to the boat and I would it, I would still drift out, but it was the only way I could basically try to keep it vertical. And I'm using a John Skinner Bucktail with Gulp 6-inch grubs. Definitely bigger. Ooh, there you go. What do you got? A mutton there? No say. Butterfish? Rudder? Oh, I have no idea, dude. I, I could tell you if it's a flounder or a, or a sea bass, but I can't tell you. What do I got? Oh, really? Yeah. Swing them in or? Yep. 20 pound test, so. Right. Looks like a bluefish. Yeah. You ever catch those up north? No. The banded rudder fish? No, but I read all the Facebook comments. <laughs> I got them fluking like on the south shore before. Oh, I've never caught one. Late August. So what is this? Banded rudder fish. Oh, it is a banded rudder yep. fish. Okay. Edible? I mean, you can eat anything. No, they're actually they're good. You yeah. want them? Yeah. You don't want them? I'll take them. No, my brother-in-law eats anything. He's got to bleed them. And that was really going to be it from a fish catching perspective. You'll see a couple fish I'm bringing up here, a lizard fish, uh, a blue runner. Um, it, it was a lot of trash fish after that. No, unfortunately, uh, no real keeper grouper on the boat. There were a couple porgies caught um, and a few blue runners. But certainly, I think, I definitely proved that the the gulp 
and the bucktail jigging, in my opinion, outfish the, the the bait that they used on the boat. I mean, to me, it, it was no contest. I definitely had the most hookups, and I had the most consistent action. And I again, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but if I had the ability to jig with braid and keep the line a little more vertical and uh, just have a, a, a little more tightness in the line so I could jig a little more effectively, I would have done better. So without further ado, let's get to the catch and cook part. All right, here we go, guys. The banded rudderfish is my sister Anna. Say hi. Hi. And what are you putting on? You got to communicate. I'm putting a little bit of adobo for seasoning. Adobo for seasoning. Okay. I'm going to put salt. Sea salt. We're down here in Florida, hence why we're in short sleeves. We're not in the cold in New York right put now. Put a little olive oil. Okay. And you got the oven preheating to 375. Yep. And this is for the pasta you're making, not for the fish. I'm making spinach. Making spinach, okay. All right. And we've never had this fish. And you just did a quick Google search and it said it a little high in mercury? Yeah. And I'm gonna, um, when it's finished, I'm gonna put some lemon or lime. I'm not sure which one yet. Very descriptive. Thank you. Doesn't look too bad. No. And I'm just Actually, the meat surprised me. It, 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 and the, the mate, when he filleted it, there was a, a big bloodline down the center. And he beautifully removed it. I should have videotaped him filleting it. But he did a great job with the fillet. And I'm just going to put it in. And I'm going to do it for 25 minutes. And then I'll check on it. Okay. So we'll come back, and then we're gonna add two. Making some spinach. Okay, but you're saying the fish is ready. I think so, so you put it in for 20 minutes, six minutes left, so 14 minutes. I'm taking it out. I don't want to overcook it, because yeah. then you can't. It gets it dry. It gets dry, and it gets like a whole other taste. Looks good. Okay. Oh no, watch out. All right, we'll so come I'm back and cut, taste it. What I'm are you gonna, gonna do? Cut a lime because oh. I realize I don't have a lemon. So your whole lemon lime dilemma before turned out to be a moot point. Yeah, I'm gonna go for lime. I think lime will go. It'll be nice. All right. All right. Well, now that's on video. Well, it's very good. It's very good. And I'm serious too. Really? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? KJ, what does it taste like? Yeah, sea bass. Taste it. Sea bass. All right. Sea bass ish. Here we go. I'm gonna dive right in. Sea bass is sweet. Let's. Oh, this is firm meat though. Look very at that. Good. Very firm. The lime is ridiculous. <laughs> the lime is ridiculous. That's what you have to do Yeah, she added lime. This is really, this is really good. Nice texture. Yeah. This is really good. Excellent. Excellent. Delicious. Definitely not trash fish. John, you want spinach? Negative. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And yeah, definitely not trash fish. It really was delicious. I, I would definitely keep them if I caught them in New York. I know James said he has caught them on the South Shore. Uh, South Shore. I've never caught one on the North Side. Um, and back to the jigging. We're gonna test this out one more time. I'm, I'm scheduled to go December 27th. This is, this video should be coming out Saturday, December 26th. 
Sunday, December 27th, I'm supposed to fish with Sweeney and Skinner on Sweeney's new boat in the Gulf, so no restrictions on braided line and hope to have a better test of, of how this jigging method without bait, with gulp and bucktails works. Uh, thanks again for watching. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button and a belated Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody.